Are those broken planks over there? this. We made sure to pick a remote path and we still got ambushed. Ah! Oh, who's there? G Guardian? Calm down. I think we're safe. Pretty sure stealing's not in a Guardian's job description. Oh, yeah. Right. Don't mind him. Some of our guys are still on edge after the robbery this morning. <sighs> the robbery took everything from us. We can't just let that slide, so I'm taking my men to confront them and get back some of what they stole at least. Hazardous materials. Uh, for the love of... You can't just say that. Listen, it was just some firecrackers and fireworks. That's all. But that's what the crates had written on them. They're fireworks. What else would they be labeled as? Perishable goods? Ugh. Just ignore him, please. As you can see, some of my guys aren't particularly bright. If the guards at Caravan Rebot hear of this, we'll get questioned all over again. To some tribal camps in the desert. Everybody's looking to celebrate with the Subzeros Festival coming up. Even small businesses like us got a share of the orders. Mostly the long distance transports that no one else wanted. Well, it was like this. We had just set out on the remote path when... A web of thorns and vines suddenly blocked our way! Vines? What? No. Why would there be vines in the desert? Our wagon got stuck in the sand. That's what happened. I'm sure it was a trap. After that... Bombs started falling from the sky! Bombs? Oh, just stop talking. That robbery messed you up more than I thought. <laughs> Don't listen to his nonsense. He's just a bit shaken up by what happened. Anyway, as we were trapped, the bandits started firing rockets at us, which made a lot of the fireworks go off. In the middle of all the chaos, they ran off with the rest of our stuff. Uh, no, we couldn't really see anything. There was sand everywhere, and we were more preoccupied with getting out alive. Although, I did notice that one of the bandits had this green stone.
Yes, exactly like that. I just couldn't make sense of it. I, I, if you already have something that valuable, why go after our cheap firecrackers? Well, all right. We'll just take another quick break before we head over. So, one group of bad guys attacked the other? hopes the Sub-Zero's festival doesn't get ruined. Things are turning out to be more complicated than we expected. Oh? And what things would those be? Sounds like something the General Mahamatra should know about. Sino, what are you doing here? I'm here on business, investigating an unusual robbery case. Wait, could it be the same one we've been investigating? Just doing my duty. By the way, I brought something that I think might help with the investigation. Here, have some Parisara pudding. Um, okay, thanks! Well, find any clues? They say the proof is in the pudding, after all. <coughs> Did you have to tell that joke when Paimon had a mouthful of pudding? She almost choked! Anyway, back to the matter at hand. Tell me more about this robbery case of yours. Hmm, I see. So you and Candace already did a preliminary investigation. Yep, Candace can tell you the rest when she gets back. That merchant group was really suspicious. All right, you can leave the rest to me. On a different note, do you have any other plans for the day? Oh, we'll probably head back with Candace. We're meeting up with everyone to prepare for the si 
su super awesome dinner we're planning tonight. <laughs> Strange. Sounds like you're hiding something from me. Uh, what? <laughs> no, not at all. We'd never do anything like that. Hmm. Do you know why henna berries can't tell a lie? Um... Why? Because... They're always going to be red straight through. Get it? Like the color? <clears throat> I can explain it if you need. Oh, we get it. We get it. S seriously, there's no secret. Is that so? You're not afraid of ending up like the bass in the lake? What? Because... They always wind up eating their worms. Yeah, who knew being interrogated by the General Mahamatra was this miserable? Candace! Thank goodness you're back. Please save us. Nice to see you, Candace. The Traveler already updated me on everything, so you can leave the robbery case to me. But, when I asked about their plans this afternoon, they started dodging my questions. Well, once you told me about the case, I realized I might not make it this afternoon. I was going to ask you to tell the group, but you decided to end the conversation. Seriously? So we had to listen to a couple of Sino jokes for nothing? Well, with that resolved, could you tell the group I've got a case? Oh, and these are the items I was supposed to get. Could you take them back with you? Sure thing! We've got this! I would hope so. I just handed it to you. Oh, enough already! free from all those terrible jokes. That explains why he had all those jokes ready to go, even while on the job. My mom will never understand how he doesn't give himself a cringe attack. Candace? Did you have another vision? Dangerous? Maybe they're the bandits from earlier. The 
then let's sneak up on them. If they're the ones looking to cause trouble during the Sub-Zero's festival, we should catch them in the act. Did you hear that? Sounds like they're talking about something dangerous. You two? Oh, what kind of terrible plan were you talking about just now? Something about explosions and the flower carriage? Okay, so that's what all this was about? Um, well, about that. Um, maybe you could dumb that down a little. The past?
it does explain what we saw. What did you say? Oh, I'm old now, so every other phrase escapes my ears. Try calling me Madam Farozan, and I'll see if I can pick that up. years have passed, yet there hasn't been any change to those dumb rules at the Academia.
Wait, now that you mention it, why are we meeting in the city? Wouldn't that be more convenient? Close. 